Okay, we're starting the job this morning, and here we are just measuring up, getting the footings prepared. Now we've got to get all this up when the digger comes as we're making up and measuring up as the guys are doing now. And we're starting the job today. Yeah, and we're just praying for a new tip. <laughs> <laughs> this is where the original uh, conservatory was. And so I just don't know what this underneath here. Uh, something we've got to try and expose to find out what kind of footing it was. You might have the same problem where there's been an existing poor, uh, kind of conservatory. You've got to find out what the footings were underneath. So as we've taken it down, we've got this problem here. So we'll find out in a bit. Catch you in a minute. Got our markings in. Walkies down there. Now we're just grading off, getting rid of all the rubble, rubbish, so that we're ready to dig the footings after that. So we're all marked up, we're ready. That's our plans. For the foundations of the conservatory were massively deep, 600 centimetres deep and so it took a lot of breaking off as you can see here even the digger can't dig through it and so we've got to get the, the dramatic drill and start breaking it up all this takes time when you're doing an extension sometimes it's unforeseen just look at this two foot thick 60 centimeters of concrete just for the conservatory Another 300mm to go yet, and then we have to come down the side of the footing. I think I believe the existing footing is about 450mm thick. So when we expose that, we'll come to the level and we'll have a nice trench, 600 wide, it'll be about 1100 deep to finish deep in sea. And uh, yeah, we'll rip that out all the way round, and then we'll get the concrete poured and we'll get grafting. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Okay, finding the existing footing the house is built on, exposing it, digging down the side, find the bottom of it, and then that's our level, straight through to the other side. You generally find sometimes you get the marl and the clay is so hard, it's like concrete, and we have to dig it here too. Getting the pick out, handballing to help the digger. the nib the existing foundation all this has been passed now and so what we do we're transferring the levels around to the concrete we're measuring down uh, and we can skim off wherever we want to and a tip is when you have that you turn your level around so that it's accurate transfer the level there it's level we're going around all the way around the trench down to the other side so we take pegs and we knock them in and that's how we get it roughly level. If it's too high, we can skim off. Okay, so we'll catch you later when the concrete comes. Okay, we've pegged it all out. As you can see, all our levels are in. If you take your little bit of time just to get your levels in, you'll have a good foundation to build off. And I've pegged out to that nib, as you can see, right through. Take right through to that nib there, and as we come through here, down to that nib, pegged round. There we go. 
Keep working it to the top of your pegs. And that's how we're bringing it through level, then we'll tamp it later. And we just keep the stuff flow around easy enough. Please. We'll do after, we'll get the tamp on and tamp it and it should be all level. What's your like for level? Is that sink, Chris? Let it go. Almost bang on. Absolutely bang on. Well done, jumped and then.